wow 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 this afternoon has been absolutely amazing I'm so glad to have been part of this event both as Obutle Hair and Beauty and as Tenjo Operations which is my lifestyle company what stood out for me is the level of maturity in these university students um, the quality of women that are being bred at Rhodes University um, I mean I've been here for a while and I've never seen anything like this I mean you have girls here speaking of foundations speaking of how they are changing their lives and the lives of others here on campus and in their various countries and their visions you know and their goals and just the magnitude of the inspiration that was in this room right here today is just amazing and I'm glad that Audi approached me to be a part of this it's been humbling it's been inspiring and I'm so excited for the greater things that are yet to come and um, yeah I'm just I'm taken aback like wow and well done to Zinni and Audi and everybody else that was here all the speakers were great and yeah, we've got a lot to go home and do homework on. And to women of influence. All right, hi everyone. Um, I came to the event expecting to be surrounded by women my age, women that I work around, obviously from my campus and around Gramstown, um, to sharing the stories and, and sharing their journeys. Um, of, of, of growth, personal growth, and just growth in terms of their goals, their lives, their futures. And really, I, I wasn't disappointed, it was all that and more. Um, I, it really asked me, this event really asked me to really reach deep within myself and, and, and to, to finally just come out and be like, you know what, allow your greatness to, to, to come out and, 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 and fulfill it, fulfill my purpose, fulfill everything that I've always just kept in my head, everything that I've always wanted to do, everything that I want to, I would love to be, the person, the woman I would love to be, I need to start living it, I need, I need to stop selling myself, I need to stop, um, I need to stop censoring myself, and stop limiting myself, and really, um, I must say, this event has been amazing, it couldn't have come at a better time, and I really, really urge every single woman in and around who can attend this um, event come next year or whenever in the future to please please do come and all the best to Odi and um, really you're amazing I've known you since my first year you are in my you are in my house come where you are my leader and and really you have been an amazing 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 person you I've learned so much from you and I'm really glad to see that you know you're going to that you want to share this light that you have shared in my life you have shared in my life that you want to spread it out the world at large and all the best i am so proud of you already and i will and all the best man love and light and peace always god bless you this event will help me to grow in a lot of spheres and a lot of aspects i heard all the ladies here speak they are phenomenal young leaders and what i gained from this was not just just the high caliber of speaking but the content i learned that um Basically, we have to stick together. You know, this woman on woman hate that needs to be eradicated. And what I learned from everyone here that I personally think I'll take home and I'll use at a magnified scale is the notion of just believing in yourself. The, no the normal things that you hear every day, but the notion of being confident, writing down your dreams and your goals, because you don't know how much you've achieved until you've written it down and seen all the little milestones and the steps that you've created. What I've also learned is that despite how you're feeling, how even if life is throwing you down or bricks are being thrown at you, you still need to rise and shine despite the context or the situation that's around you. And we always hear about, you know, write down your goals, your dreams, but a goal and a plan means nothing and this is a plan of action and that plan of action is being implemented. So, I mean, those are the things I'm going to take from this context and that will allow me to grow in the long run because I definitely feel I have a lot of plans but they need a lot of action as well. So, yes. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm really, really impressed. Um, I didn't expect it to be this awesome oh, yeah. it's been so 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 great so informing so enriching and i just look forward to attending another one like it so yeah it's been so great more than i expected to be honest more than i expected yeah. so this event was basically a fundraising event or initially that's what i thought it would be um that was the intention because i was trying to raise funds for 
or to comp uh, compete in Miss Commonwealth in the finals as a pattern. And I needed to raise 6.5 thousand rand. And I approached certain individuals and certain businesses in Grahamstown to ask them to fund me. And they couldn't. So then I thought, what else can I do to actually get funds? So then I figured, how's about you host an event and you ask people to come and they pay for that. And then also I'm not much of a party person, so I couldn't host a party and have people come to a party and get money that way. And then I was reminded by a friend of mine that in the beginning of the year, I wanted to empower women. I wanted to do a lot of stuff about self-branding, personal branding and defining that. And I wanted to be a personal branding expert or consultant, if that makes sense, for young girls. And she reminded me about that and I said, hey, how's about we have a personal branding um, event for women in Grahamstown? And that's how the idea came about. Initially it was a fundraising thing, but it quickly turned into a women empowerment type event. And I'm actually happy that it turned into that because that to me has more meaning than just raising funds, you know. And I told my friend that even if we don't make money, it's fine as long as we've achieved the purpose of empowering women and making them aware of the importance of branding. You know, I tell my mom, I'm like, a brand is like Mercedes Benz. That's a brand. And you can be like a Mercedes Benz. And when people see you, they see luxury, they see higher class and so forth. Or you can be like Toyota, you know? That's also another brand. And you need to define that brand for yourself and say, who do I want to be known for? You know, when people see Odi, who do they say she is? And in the future as well, when people want to invest in you, who are they investing in? Or what brand are they investing in? And that's the message I just wanted to get across to the other girls, make them aware of that. And that sometimes it's not that you're dressing up to go to class or dressing up to go to church. It's actually you defining your brand and living according to that brand and saying, hey, I want you to see me as Rolls Royce or Mercedes Benz, not just as Toyota or something like that, you know. So that, that was the idea behind the event. And the turnout was great. I thought five people would come, five of them being my friends and the organizers. But yeah, a couple of ladies came through and I was so happy with the turnout and just the energy that was in this room and the message that went across was just great. And I think it went well. So yeah.